This is basically the earth form on which we stand that creates all these arches inside, you know, and your diaphragm inside, and your upper chest inside, and your upper palate inside, and your crown of the head inside, but it continues out, it goes over, and it goes down and up. So when you're relaxed, your shoulders are like this. When you're a little tense, the shoulders go up, which means you destroy this internal power and it's externally is pressed down. But you can do it just with the energy. You can still stay relaxed. That's the silence in yoga, that you don't disturb your outer carrying of sattva and tamas falling back, falling back. So the energy is basically as strong as you can feel that whatever comes up in you. So you have to really feel that everything is lifted by itself. You don't have to lift. That's why I find it very difficult to have a perineum and to call it a banda and make it kind of tight like that, close it. It's like, uh, if you do that, can you feel a hardening that goes right through the legs and into the feet? It, it actually doesn't really settle you. The whole teaching that we try to do is go release, release the hips, make them wider, release inside the feet, release inside the hands. Let it stream out of you and drop it down and stand under the shower of your own gravity. And then if the inner energy brings you up, can you still feel that you can widen also here, that you don't bring the, the chin forward, nor bring the chin in, but you kind of widen that space. So the arch is not only this way, but it also goes this way. It's this cross arching that we're doing. So jing and jing, but they extend. This goes uh, and uh, and it extends. And in the early poses, Ayanga would stand like an army person with the balls of the big toe and the inner heels together, the inner ankles together, the inner knees together. And you become a little wobbly if one leg is shorter than the other or the other one is longer, <laughs> whatever. But that actually squeezes your energy and then can you spread it inside and become wide in your feet and wide in your hips. Just move it left and right, extend and widen it. That's a challenge, but he never talked about that. He just said, close, close. you stamp, jump, duck. There's all this jumping that was done before. If you bend your knees a little bit, where are you? You haven't gathered yourself. You're actually ready to sway and become gentle and can't we sit down and have a cup of tea? You know, can't we just have a better time? <laughs> so it, it, it's waiting for something that is more supportive, more good than that you become a self-made personality, my ego and your stupidity together makes me feel very good. So don't ever know it better than me, please. <laughs>